We're back outside. We were looking at these hydrangeas with Dave Fleming from Green Lake Landscape, but now you brought in some honestly interesting plants. Well, you gotta remember, I tagline, you know, a couple of weeks ago, falls for planting. Yeah. There's still a lot of things going on in the garden that you can enhance and get some color going on. If, you know, some of your annuals and other plants have already done their thing for the season, you can still add some color. You're holding, uh, and this one here is an annual, but it's a Solosa. And you know, we kind of got it set up here. It's uh, got a little <laughs> pumpkin face on it. So, you know, Halloween's coming up. And you can it see looks it's kind of striking uh, flower on it. it. The flower almost looks like cauliflower. I was going to say it looks like kind of the brain. Right. <laughs> well, it is Halloween. So, so that's what know, I'm thinking we'll right call now. It the brain pint. <laughs> so, so, anyways, but uh, there's a little splash of color. This one here is a perennial. Yeah. This is an anemone, and this one's called Pocahontas. And what's interesting and nice, it blooms this time of year. So, uh, it's a great plant to have in the landscape. Um, you can see the nice flowers on it, it's easy to take care of. Yeah. And people are always wondering, you know, what's blooming out there? Well, this one will come back year after year, but you'll enjoy it late in the season. So uh, there's still a lot of time. You know, we're still doing a lot of plantings right now. We're, yeah. we're finishing up um, our lawn work. You know, you're at the end of the season now uh, because of seed germination, the temperatures yeah. are gonna get too cool. Uh, but if you want to plant trees and shrubs and perennials, uh, you need to start also thinking about fall cleanup, you know, cutting back your old dead perennials, yes. doing some pruning. So, and then eventually probably doing a lot of raking as those leaves start to fall. But, you know, unfortunately, you're not going to permit us to do that this weekend because it's supposed to rain all day Saturday I and Sunday. I know, I know. We've so. been talking about the rain over the weekend, but maybe there'll be another weekend where it's going to be nice and dry. We don't have to try breaking up leaves in the wet because well, that's not that means fun. someone's going to have to take a day off during the week to do their yard. Yeah, so. but no, these are really interesting plants. Probably my favorite you brought in so far is this because it just looks fascinating. I'm just looking at the stem and the purple color it has. So it's a great plant. Get ready for Halloween. Uh, put a little color in your landscape. Yes. Are you looking forward to Halloween? Oh, it comes every year, <laughs> trick or treat. Are you going to be carving a pumpkin or painting a pumpkin? Neither. Neither? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be giving out some candy. Well, I bet you give out the best candy in the neighborhood. But so. Dave, thank you so much for coming in. I know we got so much still to talk about throughout the month of October. So hopefully we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Oh, we will. And just remember this, fall is for planting. So fall is for planting. There's a lot of time to get out in the yard. Famous tagline, fall yeah. is for planting. But of course, we're going to have more on Daybreak right after this.